you guys know that? Do you guys know why? Anybody here know why? Because, yes, everything's built and designed for who? Right-handed people. And why is that? Because most of us are what? Right-handed. So the idea or the theory has been that, you know, that people who are left-handed have, there's sort of different things that can happen to them. And certain things are actually more likely. I remember one being, I think it was dying by accident. My father was left-handed. This is why, you know, I know. I mean, he didn't die by accident, but, you know, that was always the thing we talk about. Ooh, things are designed for what? For right-handed people. Is that true, Adriana? Do you ever feel horrible because everything's right-handed? Do you cook? <laughs> you eat at McDonald's, right? Or Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr. Well, choose it. it's like some people will, have, will be forced to play a right-handed guitar. They'll play that. Because why? That's all they can find, maybe. No, you can find some left-handed guitars, but it's hard to get. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you play guitar with your left hand, and you went with your right hand. It's more comfortable. Don't say it. Was... I can do both, but I feel more comfortable. With... It's weird. That's weird. Mm -hmm. But I'm forced. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. I know, but this statistic doesn't date you. People, yeah. Because it's hard to say, I mean, if you define, you, what you have to define here, left-handed versus right-handed, it's not a strong definition um, because of that. You know, people do different things. So it could be even the definition could be applied, do you eat with your right hand, do you eat with your left hand, do you write with your right hand, do you write with your left hand? Because yes, there are people that do certain things. And there are people that are, have, you know, other sort of skills that can do things with both. You know, but in a very simple way. You're either right-handed, left-handed. Most people are right-handed. And that other information about being in an accident, you know, um, like for instance, people used to complain all the time about a lot of different things. They're designed for right-handed people. Um, egg beaters. Egg beaters was one complaint. Um, all right, what is it called? Do you guys know that device when you, the reason I asked Adrienne if she cooked, it's because some devices are built for who? right-handed people. And so they're more likely to get have an accident with a device because they are left-handed. You know, like even the old egg beaters, I know if you beat eggs now, yeah, okay, you get a fork maybe and do it. But sometimes people would get that, whatever it was called, an egg beater by hand. You guys remember? And it was right-handed. And even some of these can openers were what? Right-handed. And they're not left-handed. See, they're right-handed. So. Um, that's why there were more, there were scissors even, yes, yes. Do you remember those kids in elementary school that were left-handed? Did you ever look over and start laughing at them? Because how did they look? They look funny cutting with their left hand. Well, because you got laughed at. She had no choice. She's like, okay, I'll do it right-handed. You could have, you're more likely to cut yourself. Because you're doing it how? right-handed when you're really left-handed. Do you guys know that? You didn't know this stuff? Oh, you guys are learning more than probability and statistics. You're learning everything you ever wanted to know. Jimmy was left-handed. Of course, Jimmy, Jimmy, oh, forget it. <laughs> no, but Jimmy played, he, he, no, what Jimmy did was, Jimmy was left-handed. He took a right-handed guitar and converted it to a left-handed guitar. Why did he do that? It wasn't left-handed guitars that you can very find very easily. People would make them for right-handed. In other words, they forced lefties to play right-handed back then. You know, and you sit there and you go, why would somebody do that? Why would some people be so cruel as to do that? Well, it's not a matter of being cruel. It's a matter of the fact that most people are born right-handed. And so most people are designing, you know, the people that design these things are right-handed. Uh, it may even be, I've heard this, I don't know how true, I can't cite anything. 
create, cre people who are creative. People who are creative are more likely to be what? Left-handed. Is that true or false? True. It's false? What's that? <laughs> and where did you read it? Online. <laughs> it's what? A feature? <laughs> Do you guys know the designer of the website Mythbusters is our own Eddie Villanueva? And he makes everything up. Um, be careful. You, I mean, I'm not saying that what you read online is not true, but be careful because um, you want to look at a study. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, look at a study. Oh, no. There's a lot of, I mean, it, let me also, let me point this out to you guys as well. Because this is probability, this is statistics, and this is, this is what we got to talk about. Um, if anybody reads the internet often, I mean, I do, and MSN, you want to know what happens a lot? Is if there is a study about something and people generally will go, ah, yeah, you know, okay, we know this fact. And everybody believes it, yada, yada. What usually happens, do you guys know if you write, even read MSN? Do you know what happens is that somebody somewhere will try to come up with another study to counter that what? That claim. And why do they do that? To get you to read the article. You see what I mean? And so if you really pay attention to a lot of the stuff, and I do, and I think about this stuff, you'll write, you'll look up, and they'll put as a, new, as a headline something that is counter just to get you to do what? To read the article. So it's kind of hard. You have to look at the study. You have to put it in perspective. You got you to gotta remember what you learn in probability and statistics. You know. So yeah, the, generally the idea was what? People who are left-handed were more creative. And it could be somebody comes along and says, ah, that's a myth. Here's a study. See what I mean? And then you read that. And they got you to read it and go, ah, oh, it was a myth. So it could be true or could not be. You know. But um, that happens all the time. What, in fact, um, in terms of health reasons, you guys know, at one point, drinking alcohol was what? Well, for health, it was bad. Bad for you. And then what happened? Yeah, you could drink wine, a little bit of wine. It's good for you. And then they said, oh, you drink wine about every day. It'd be good for you. A thousand bottles a day? A day? Mm -hmm. In a good way? I thought it would be negative. You mean you have to drink a thousand bottles of wine? Mm, that's another story. That's the first time I heard this one. Mm. Mm. How to live to be 100, drink 1,000 uh, bottles of wine, 150 bottles of wine, whatever. I, my, the latest information I had was that it was about 2.2 .2 glasses a week. It went from one glass a week, 2.2, .2, and now.